in the mix. In the mix. Mondays in possession with Layton Lively. Okay. So we are back and, um, you know, we're here John, in the studio about to talk to Mr. Always 100. What's good? And I just want to give the people a little bit of a background. I actually reached out to you. Yeah, you did. Um, I appreciate that. That was love. I was just and chilling, doing nothing. <laughs> kind of threw you off, I guess. Yeah. So occasionally I'll scroll through Instagram and I come across, you know, somebody I might find, you know, interesting or, you know, like the music or, or what have you. So I kind of just, I saw some snippet or something that you put on. I was like, okay. So I kind of looked a little bit more into it and I was like, you know what? Let me, um, you know, see what's up. You know, I had no idea that you have been here before. Yeah. Because Yak Radio, we have so many people on the station. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of hard to keep track of. Yeah, exactly. Everybody show who's doing what. So, um, the reason that I actually liked you is because I actually understood <laughs> what you were saying. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, a lot of um, hip hop. People, you know, I don't, I don't understand. I'm sorry. Like, yeah. just, but you were very articulate with the words. I appreciate it. Let's, let's just say I can't understand, young thug. Yeah, <laughs> we can, yeah, I wasn't I'm trying sure. to. I wasn't trying to. I'm, saying, them it, last, I'm but. saying it. There's six of them. I can't. Sometimes Lil Wayne's. It's. It depends what kind of song is that you could. If he's on the East Coast song, you could understand what he's saying. But he's in the yeah. Down South. Um, you have no idea what he's saying. Yeah, I, I just. Some of the people, so I just don't get get it. But actually, um, I was reading up on your bio, and mm -hmm. you're actually not from New York. No. So tell the people where you're from. I'm from Richmond, Virginia. See. Yep. 804. So, yeah, and and um, Yak Radio. Well, for those of you who don't know, Yak Radio stands for Your Area Code Radio. So he just gave. It's 804. Yeah. Virginia. 804. Okay, so that's the area code. So. The people in Virginia, I know you must have some people listening. You can yeah. always call us up, say hello. Um, you call know, up, yeah. Yeah, you know. <laughs> the number. Okay, they listen. So the number is eight seven 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 six zero one four two two. Um, now we do have a couple of tracks we want to play, but I just want to wow. get a little bit more into, you know, you. So how how long have you been doing music? Um, I've been doing music literally all my life, like. It's just the aspect of what I was doing at that time that... that all your life, um, how old are you? <laughs> yeah, I'm, 20, I'm about to be, matter of fact, I'm about to be 25 in uh, 10 days. Okay. Yeah, my birthday is on July 30th, so... Oh. Um, I grew up in a church, you know what I'm saying? My father's a pastor, so I was always around music and, oh, okay. and stuff like that, you know? Uh, I played the drums, I'm in the choir, this, that, and the third. I just, I just always love music, like... Um, so you're like a real musician. Actually, play that instrument. Yeah, I mean, I haven't played the drums in a while. But, but still, but but that's a good background so yeah. people understand, you know, because I actually used to play the alto sax. Oh, for real? Yeah, you know. I tried to play the sax in like middle school, and it was just too hard. Like, just, like all the buttons and. You know, I, I think you know, do a little something with a little saxophone. You yeah. know, so I was I was nice back then. I know my family used to get tired of me um, always <laughs> making noise when I have to yeah. practice. But oh, you know. the drums! Come on, that's even worse that's than the saxophone. Worse. This is saxophone, you can serenade somebody. <laughs> the drums is just. So you used to keep your pants noise. up? Oh, yeah, all the time. You're screaming on it you? It got to the point where my father actually bought me like the electric drum set, drum oh, wow. set with, the, with the headphones. So he's like, here. <laughs> That's funny. I don't want to hear nothing. Oh. Like, <laughs> so. All he has to do is build you like a soundproof room and then that would be the end of it. <laughs> but, um, okay, that's cool. And, um,. What made you wanna? Do, I mean, I know you have a church background, but mm -hmm. what made you actually wanna get into the rapping um, and hip hop? And music. Uh, basically, it was just like I said, I'm from Richmond, Virginia, and it's really not a lot to do out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I'm from the hood, as everybody is. You know what I'm saying? So, I really just grew up, just me and my homies, and we just used to just do it to pass the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, I never was really making beats back then. Mm -hmm. It was just like I had a little Dell laptop and just a little crappy program and we just used to, used to just take songs that was already out at that time and just find the beat and we would just not try to get famous or nothing like mm -hmm. that. We would just make it's music like just for fun, you know what I mean? Like okay. so it's then then it got to a point where um, I moved out of VA and came to New York because you know what I'm saying, like I said, there's nothing really to offer down south. 
you know, so I just had to make a decision. I was making bad decisions too on top of that. So yeah, usually that's what happens when you start getting into trouble. Yeah, you gotta move, relocate. So I, I had to make a choice to better my life, so I came up here to New York, and honestly, it was the best decision I ever made. So well, that's a good thing. Yeah, that's a good thing. Definitely. So, what's the difference between Richmond, Virginia, and New York? I mean, I know that New York is fast paced, yeah. but you you have a um, who's still out of Virginia? Isn't it um, is it like? Like artist wise, uh, sort of artist wise, from yeah, Chris Brown, Trey Songz, Missy Elliott, yeah. Pharrell, you know. Okay, so but there's a, there's a few you know yeah. artists. I, Chris Brown first came to mind when, mm-hmm. when I heard that. Um, yeah, Chris I, Brown. Yeah. Yeah, Chris Brown's from Trey Songz. Trey Songz should be off the top of your head. Yeah. Well, Trey Songz. Yeah, uh, I mean, Petersburg. No, but yeah, he I re- he, no, honestly speaking, he started seeing Virginia a lot. Well, Chris Brown was out. before. Or you sure? But he wasn't no, really no, like, no, 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 no. not even yeah. doing no solo with him, but like Trey Songz. No, he wasn't. No, 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 no. I don't no, think Trey Songz was up before. No, Trey Songz was not out before Chris Brown. No, I don't think so. No, 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 no. Like, yeah, I know Trey Songz made this song just gotta make it. I'm an R&B person, so. Google, when Just Gotta Make It come out. When who? Just Gotta Make It. That was that shit too. I like that song. Well, I'm I'm pretty sure, okay, we'll do that on the break. We're gonna play one of his songs in a minute, but. Um, it's in the background, right? Yeah, right I here. know, but we gotta play the full version. No, no, it's, yeah. it's only right. He's talking, it's only it's right. It's only right. Play so, song. matter of fact, um, since he, I didn't hear it in the background. Yeah. So, do you want to introduce? <laughs> yeah, this song right song. here is, a, is one of my first mainstream songs. Um, I made this song about a year and a half ago, I would say. Maybe a year ago. Um, like I said, I make beats from time to time. I'm not the best beat maker, but I made this beat right here, and it was like, uh, I made it, and it stayed on my computer for like three, four months. And then one day I was just fooling around and I just listened to it and I just came up with a chorus for it and I made a song called Regular. Basically the song is about telling people that we do this on the regular. Like a lot of people try to be flashy and be like, oh yeah, we pop bottles, we do this, that, uh, and third. Just let people know that's, that's regular. That's regular, you know what I'm so saying? So if I call bottles. you regular, that's like an yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like if somebody trying to be extra, you're like, man, that's, that's regular, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, so that's I, true. I drink heavy all the time. Uh, yeah, regular. well, that's regular. That's exactly. Regular. That's I drink heavy all the time, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> not all the time, but you know, social, social. But anyway, exactly. yeah, well. all right. So let's let's play that tune, and after we do, if anybody wants to call and give their opinion, and you know, tell us if you like the track. Um, number is eight seven 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 six zero one four two two. 